All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is my ongoing chill late night playthrough now. It is now a late night stream rather than a daytime stream. And last time around, we actually did some major plot developments. If you remember, we took on an out-of-control Pokemon that apparently was lit hit by lightning. Uh, that caused it to basically be very aggressive to everything around it, including humans. But we quelled it, and now we've come back to town, and there's a ridiculous amount of side missions to unlock. So we're basically trying to get them all. And then we're going to go talk to uh, the person in charge. And I believe what they're going to do is probably give us our next mission and send us to a new region. Because I'm pretty sure we've cleared out that original uh, region, the starter region that we were in. Okay, so as we begin here tonight, a few quick things that I would like to say. First of all, I will be suing Game Freak for putting my likeness in the game without my permission. I mean, if you don't think that doesn't look like me, I mean, come on. Game Freak, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> That's number one. Number two. Tonight, if you're having a good time on the stream, I would ask, please give the stream a like. I'm aiming for 100 likes on every stream I do this year. If you are watching this video on demand on YouTube, please give the video a like if you're enjoying it. And please leave a comment about how the hell they can get away with this obvious theft. I want to know. And look, drop the, the contact information for Game Freak in the comments of the video so I can email them. All right. Without further ado, let us talk to this guy. And I think he's going to give us our next balloon race. Interested in target practice. Never mind. Now there's another mini game that's target practice. Lob balls and try to pop balloons. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. See, so it can be found in the practice field. Where's the practice field? I don't know where that is. Uh. Where's the practice field? It's got to be around here somewhere. Other side? Maybe not. The other side is the farm, isn't it? Uh, nice pop-in right there. This is the farm, and we had increased the amount of... Oh, here he is. Wait, is that him? Is that him? What the hell is that? These are the new, the ghostly collectibles. Okay, this is the new side mission that we had gotten last time around. It says that there's hidden wisps you need to collect. That was the, the kid. Remember the creepy kid who ran up and told us about that? I was like, what the hell? Why is the child telling us about this mission? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Oh, that's correct. I should say this as well. Thank you, Kagami, for reminding me. Quick reminder, everyone. The way that it's working now on these Pokemon streams is the top tipper by the end of the night gets to name a Pokemon in the game. So, for example, currently, we have Raz, and that was Jade who who uh, named Raz uh, a couple streams ago. And then we have The Rock, and it was CM Fool who was the top tipper last stream, and he named this Pokemon The Rock, okay? So right now, we, the, the top tipper is an anonymous tipper. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. If someone beats that anonymous tipper and becomes top tipper of the night, you'll be in the, the running to be the person to name a Pokemon, Okay. Now, this, this isn't me. This isn't the guy, is it? He cheat? I'm just trying to think about how Cherim transformed. So this is the same exact character model, but not the same guy. Where the hell is this practice field that he mentioned? Uh, That's kind of dumb. He says, I'll be in the practice field. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to tell you where the practice field is. So you can't meet me to do the minigame. Where is it? Can I maybe open up my map? Hold on a second here. Okay. And then if I press Y. Uh, I don't think. Here it is. Outside Jubilife Village. Where the hell is this outside Jubilee Village? Can I tag this? Turn on guidance. It's not even in the village. Where the hell is this? It is outside the village. Look. Well, no wonder. I thought if it says practice field, that implies it would be in the village. No, it's outside the village. Oh, okay, thanks. I guess I'm glad I just did that then. 
Derek says that Machamp was always a cool looking Pokemon, even in the original Pokemon game. I think so. And of course, when he evolves, he basically looks like a pro wrestler, which is kind of neat. Especially because CM Fool wanted me to name a Pokemon The Rock, so I said, why not the, one, the, the Pokemon that becomes a pro wrestler? So it worked out. No, Hobo X, One Minute Man never contacted me to name a Pokemon. Like I said, I don't think that he knew about it. Because remember, he usually comes by and he'll support the stream if there's not uh, a full tips goal reached yet. But I think that he just did it and then he kind of took off and didn't watch the rest of the stream. And we hadn't even announced that you could name a Pokemon at that point when he had tipped. So he did not pick a, a Pokemon. All right. Line up lots of targets and pop a lot per ball. Practice, practice, and be the best of all. If you break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a treat. All right. right. Let's. I don't understand. Let's figure this out. Usually, I just figure out by doing stuff. Fuck the rules. Just just do it. Right? What's up, D-Man Gaming? Holy shit! I see. The goal is to line them all up and throw and hit a ton of them. See that? See that? Yeah, you want to get a multi-throw. Looks like this is the way to go. Do it sideways, see? trying to get here? Seven thousand. How many did you say I wanted to get? You say yourself a record. I got prizes lined up to give out depending on how well you do. Here's a prize just for you. Three smoke bombs. And I did break the ten thousand point mark, so I get. Oh, I beat the stage. Ten, uh, fifteen great balls and a nugget. So he's saying he'll give me even better prizes if I try again. Maybe I'll try again. Because now I think I understand what to do. You have to keep going around because until they're in the lines and just go do 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 and do the multi-hits. If you didn't notice, I was getting extra time for when I did the multi-hits too. They would award me. Okay. No, we didn't get the boxer Pokemon yet, uh, Tyron. All right, let's see here. See, look. get three. See, every three you get awarded extra time, I believe. Or not. Maybe it's the, it's the colored ones? No. How do you get the extra time? I'm pretty confused about how to get the extra time. That time I get a five break, I didn't get any extra time, see? Oh, maybe it's when you hit certain milestones of points. Way worse, so I didn't get the combos this time. Damn, this is challenging. It is pretty challenging. I had a couple chill donations. I did. Okay. Hmm. 
No, Mythical, I don't believe you were anonymous and you don't get to name uh, a Pokemon Nutsack. Sorry about that. Jamaica Phil just did a super chat saying, my favorite game is Poke Me Mon. <laughs> Poke Me Mon. Okay, then. And no, I'm not going to be talking about people's fart boxes. You're just going to get banned like you just did. Stupid ass. So Jamaica, Jamaica Phil... Thank you for that super chat. All right. Try one more time. I sucked. I get the feeling like 100,000 is probably what you're aiming for, right? Let's try one more time. Gotta try to get those line, those things lined up. Gotta get the, the tosses lined up well. Big G says the smoke bombs are very useful for approaching the Alpha Pokemon. That was a great one. Combo throws give you tons of bonus points. Great. There was like a ton of them together. Well, I got over a hundred thousand this time. Never thought I'd see a score like that. Here's the price for a champion: five scatter bangs. Okay, that's probably the best reward, and I've never even seen this item before. So, when thrown at the ground, these balls produce a loud noise and scare off weak Pokemon in the area, sending them running. All right, so I got a few good. I got smoke bombs to help with catching tough Pokemon like the Alphas, and then I actually just got um. Excuse me. I just got the. Uh, Scatterbanks to scare off weak Pokemon. Interesting. Derek says, I really enjoyed you playing Pokemon Tournament, or Pokin Tournament, excuse me, a couple years ago. Actually, it was a very long time ago. That was the Wii U days, Derek, if you don't remember. So the Switch came out in 2017, uh, five years ago, and that was like years before the Switch, so we're talking like seven, eight years ago, probably. Um, but I, I liked that game a lot, and I agree with you. I think I wish they would make another po Pokin fighting game like that. I think it was an original concept that was really well executed. I'm actually surprised they didn't make another one because I thought it sold well for the Wii U. What I mean by that is the Wii U games never sold well because no one had a Wii U. But for people who had it, I thought it had sold pretty damn good. So I don't think we can level up. We can try, though. Yep, nothing yet. Okay. Nothing yet. I agree that Wii U did have some good, uh, great games, Nico C. The problem is no one had the console. <laughs> no one bought it. Yeah, I was one of the few people who, who bought it and was like trying to use it a lot. And even me, it just collected dust. Even though I wanted to play every first party game, you know, even there was nothing to play. It was, it was pretty bad. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, very generous tip is just coming from Dan the Man. $27. I want to name the Pokemon Dan, hopefully. All right, Dan the Man, thank you for that. You are currently the top tipper of the night. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. And that will jump us all the way up to $53 in tips, which means, yes, indeed, it is Gunner Glass's time. We hit the first goal of the night, which is excellent. Our tier two goal is $100, in which case you guys can uh, see a hat. I'm assuming you guys probably want to see uh, the Pikachu hat tonight for Pokemon, right? Because what you've been, guys, if you haven't been noticing, when I put the polls up, we get a troll element that comes in here just to vote the other way and skew the polls. So as long as we all kind of agree that you guys would want to see the, po the silly Pikachu hat tonight, that's what we'll do if, if we hit the $100, okay? All right. Thank you very much, Dan the Man. Derek says, Pokemon Moon, I remember you started tw November 2016, ended in January 2017. Yeah. I actually remember I had a wicked sore throat during that playthrough. 
And I still was fucking streaming it and doing the voice acting, even though my throat was killing me. <clears throat> okay. So, it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon are, that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adamant or Arita, but this is not something that we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Arezu. You did well to inform us of Ursa Luna's situation. Okay. Wow. Hobo X says, currently the Wii U is still the only way you can play Wind Waker HD or Twilight Princess HD. Yeah, they didn't port it yet to, to Switch, right? You would think they will. I almost guarantee you they're going to, and maybe they'll even do it as a collection. But you're right, they're dragging their feet. That's how Nintendo is. They'll literally wait until they have nothing to sell. Oh, let's just release it now, you know, instead of just having people... People want it so bad, they'll wait. <laughs> Uh, Kevin Bernstein did a super chat. He says, if, a, if win naming tip, chances of Poke being benched. What the frick? Can you speak English, Kevin? What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Let's put it this way. <clears throat> all right. If you are the top tipper, all right, and you get to name a Pokemon, I will guarantee you that for the entirety of the next stream of Pokemon that I play, I will keep the character you name in my party. How about that? That way, for example, tonight it's CM Fool picked The Rock. So as for the entirety of tonight, I will guarantee you The Rock will remain in the party. So at the very least, you'll have The Rock in the party to see him in action. See? That's what we'll do. Okay. Yeah, Hobo X says, Everyone expected them to release a Zelda collection last year for Zelda's 35th anniversary, but it went by without it. They didn't do anything besides Skyward Sword. I know. That was it. <clears throat> okay. So no problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursa Luna's warden... Wouldn't even give you the time of day. The Galaxy Team are the only ones I can turn to about this. Ursa Luna's Warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the Wardens, she's the most narrow-minded. Ahem, uh, bound by tradition. <laughs> okay. Can we pick any name we want, says John Deere? Basically, you could do anything that's not obscene and not insulting. So, for example, no, you can't pick something that insults me or my family members or another streamer or something like that. You know, you want to do something a little silly, that's okay. But nothing disgusting, nothing obscene, nothing insulting, okay? <clears throat> okay. Oh, let's see here. So, she likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her fears. Blah, 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 blah. I have a new mission for you, ass. I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Mire Land. So, we are going to a new area, the Crimson Mire Land. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. All right. Derek says, do I remember any of the gym leaders from Pokemon Blue? The only one I would remember uh, is, uh, is it Gary? Uh, not Gary. Um, yeah, the, the rock trainer who ends up being a friend of, of Ash and Misty in the cartoon. It's not, is it in Gary? I can't remember his fucking name now. Whoever that is, he was a trainer in the original game and then the cartoon he, become, he was your ally. But I can't remember his name right now. Brock, why the hell I think his name was Gary? <laughs> yeah, Brock. Yeah, Brock's the rock trainer, right? Yeah. Or the ground trainer. <laughs> Jerry. Oh, Gary is the Gigachad rival of Ash. No wonder I thought it was a Gary. So at least I got the name. At least the name was something in Pokemon. Usub Durling did a super a, a tip, a dollar fifty, saying according to NASA, snakes are getting faster, slimier, more aggressive, and venomous. Some are getting bigger, some are getting smaller. They're all getting deadlier. Make sure to luck look. No, to tuck your socks into your shoes when you go out shopping. Well, at least we got NASA to study snakes. I mean, it's definitely their specialty. <laughs> it's, it's their forte. We all know that, right? All right, thanks for the tip. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. So, you'll find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Field Lands. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mire Lands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands known as the Salatian Ruins. That's where you'll find Ursa Luna's Warden. Okay, the Salatian Ruins. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to sell those nuggets. I think I have two. See how much money I get for them? And maybe I could buy more inventory upgrades before I leave. <clears throat> Where's the vendors? He doesn't sell anything? I thought he did. But he's the guy who makes you the potato mochi, but apparently he doesn't sell shit. Oh, I don't have the doll. Oh, here we go. Craftworks. Crafting materials. I want to sell. 
my nuggets. Oh, wow, 10,000 each. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Well, that was worth selling. Good stuff. All right. I'm just curious if you have anything that I would want. He just basically sells the basic crafting materials, so... I don't have any caster ferns. I think we need that to craft something, but I don't remember what. I can buy the sky tumble stones from him and make more of the feather balls if I want. What do, what do I need the caster fern for? Hold on. Oh, let's see. I need it to make smoke bombs. Okay. I have smoke bombs anyway, but okay. Does he also sell these recipes? see what he sells. Remedy. It's a recipe for crafting remedies from scratch. Two bugwort blooms. Fine remedy. One remedy from a pep-up plant. Honey cakes. A comb of dazzling honey and a cake lure base. A grain cake. Ox power, ox guard, and dire hit. I'll, I'll hold off on those. I'll just see if I can find them in the wild, right? <clears throat> um... Chim Charlton's asked, have I played through the remastered versions of the PlayStation 1 era Final Fantasy games? Any chance of maybe a chill stream in the future? I don't think I ever played the Final Fantasy versions of those games. Or, excuse me. The PlayStation 1 versions of those Final Fantasy games. I've played the originals. I've played the Game Boy Advance versions. And I played the uh, PC versions many years ago. Remember, I played through the PC versions and we were capturing them and everything here? Yeah. But I never actually played the other version, the like the PlayStation 1 versions, no. Now, I've heard recently that they just re-released the classic Final Fantasies, like, different versions uh, on PC, and now they're gonna, they, they're gonna release them on the Switch, and these are the ones that I guess have a lot of extra content, and the, the graphics are aged full HD now. Maybe I would consider doing those. I did, though, just a few years ago. I replayed Final Fantasy 4 and 6, and that was, what, three years ago? Something like that? Not too long ago. And they were very fun playthroughs. What I would like to do is maybe play five, which I've never played for you guys before. Okay. Oh, hello, ass. By the way, uh, Kevin did another super chat. And he says, can we name him after fans if they're okay with it? Only if they're okay with it. Yes. I want. I don't want you... Like, for example, no, I don't want someone naming certain Pokemon Derek without Derek's permission. And then Derek's like, damn, I wish people wouldn't keep saying my name and, and you know, basically teasing me. That's not allowed. Okay. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. I guess we got a battler. Let's have a fine battle, and I can go closer to Pikachu. Okay. Misty was a gym leader, too? Oh, I didn't even remember that. Okay, here we go. She has two Pokemon this time. Mime Jr. Who am I throwing out first? Raz. All right, here we go. Everything's regularly effective, so. Insta insta knockout. I have to say insta knockout, not insta kill. They're not dying. They're not getting knocked out. Okay. And now Pikachu. He use a cheap quick attack on me. And then another cheap attack. A double cheap attack. He's a jerk. Thundershot again. Don't do it. Don't beat him. I'll use my quick attack. Finish him. There we go. The double knockout. Derek, no in particular, I don't remember the, any of those other gym leaders. Just just the, the boss. Right, Giovanni was the boss of Team Rocket. That I remember. I don't remember anyone else. Uh, LP101 to me a $1.50 says so Stardust. They're 1000 each and doing they're doing nothing at all in your inventory. I forgot they even had them. Do I even have many? Because I remember I had to drop some at one point. I guess we could check and see if I have any left. I don't remember. All right. Oops. I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. I forgot I wanted to upgrade my inventory. I'm an idiot. <clears throat> Everyone leveled up. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Stealth Spray. A recipe for crafting Stealth Spray... One Hopo Berry and three Bugwort Blooms. I've been working on studying strange space-time distortions. Do you know ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. Seems they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon, too. If you plan to go into one, be careful. We haven't seen one yet. 
Now time to head to the Meyerlands camp. Okay. All right, so let's not do that yet. Let's go back. And let's now sell our um, our dust, Stardust, and let's see if we can upgrade the inventory even further. Okay. So, Stardust. Let's take a look. Right here. Okay. And then, uh, organize the satchel. Crap. Crap! Organize the satchel. Okay. Alright, yeah. See, I only have two inventory spaces left. I gotta buy more. I need to buy more. <laughs> What's up, Rogue? No, good evening. How you doing? Five thousand. Yes, I guess we could afford three more. I take that back. We can afford way more. I didn't realize I had so much money. I thought I only had the 15000 or whatever. I have way more than that. Keep increasing my storage space. Do it. Come on. Do it to it. Do it anymore. <laughs> okay. That's it. I have no more money to do it, but I got what, like four or five new inventory spots, so. I'm probably gonna find all new items in this new region, too. <clears throat> okay. LP101 did another dollar for Tim says use your experience items in your inventory, too. I tend not to want to use those until I have to. I feel like it's a waste to use them now so early in the game, especially when you're going to be leveling up so frequently. You know what I mean? But then again, you know, he has a point. They take up space, don't they? Unlike previous Pokemon games, this is going to be an issue. I'll use experience, a small experience candy. Let's use it on my Pikachu, who's the lowest level. Master to move. And then we've got one more. Oh, screw it. Use it on Pikachu, who's still the lowest level. Nice. He leveled up again. That was it. Didn't learn anything new. Okay. Rare candies, I'm going to save. What I'll probably do is I'll store them. Once we get to the new camp, I'll store a lot of stuff. Oh, you know what I should do, too? I should craft. Let's craft the potions, right? I can do four of those, or I could do... Oh, okay. Let's do this. I made two super potions and a bunch of regular potions, and I got even more items. Cool. All right. All right, here we are. New camp. This is the Crimson Mire Lands. New area. Let's do it. Do it. Do it, and see what's over here. Cool. Very nice. Crimson Mirelands. Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, ass. If you're looking for the Salesian ruins, they're off that way. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of Pokemon to catch right now. For now, I'll keep searching for space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I will do my best. It sure would be handy if a map could tell me. Whoa. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon or items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can, be mindful of your limitations as well. If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon strong moves. Okay. Derek says that he and his friends were heavily into Pokemon card collecting back in the day. Cool. LB101 took the dollar fifty. He says, also, you have Grit Dust. I spotted. Upgrade your Pokemon's attack, etc. I, d I do remember that. I don't know how many I have. What do I have? Like, just a couple? I don't think I have too many. Let's look. 
Excuse me. Oh, first of all, let's sort. Is this the grit dust? Okay. So I should use it on, let's see here. Why not use it on Pikachu? He has no buffs at all. So let's have him do special attack buff. Oh, we should do speed. You know what? I'll do it again. I'll do speed again. All right, here we go. <laughs> Nick did a $2 super chat. Says, when did you start do using SNUS? I don't even know what the fuck that means. What's an SNUS? Why would it be something insulting or something? What is that? Never heard of it. Nick, I don't know what you're talking about. Time to wake up. <laughs> okay, let's store some crap. Here, let's store some mud balls. <clears throat> I don't need any of these spoiled apricorns. Right? It's a tobacco product. I don't use tobacco products. I hate them. I hate tobacco in general. I hate smoking. I hate everything. Oh, rare candies. I'm going to put those away. I should craft some revives with the Vivid Chokes if I can. No, I need medicinal leaves that I don't have. Okay. All right, now let's save up. Oh, wait. There's already a side mission here. Look. Hey there, you that go get it from the Survey Corps. I have a request for you if you got some time. I looked at a more about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands, and it's a graceful Pokemon. I haven't go to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Could you complete Roselia's page in the Pokedex and then show it to me? Okay. No. Really? Pinocchio says, Snooze, it's a type of tobacco. You stick it in your gums or you snort it. That sounds fucking disgusting. That sounds really nasty. Um, let's save. Okay. Ooh. All right. So. I have 34 great balls now. Time to catch new Pokemon. Who's that over there? That's a Psyduck. We already have Psyduck. Ooh, what's this? Hardy Grain. There's a new Pokemon. What is that thing? What is that freak? What is it? It is a Badoo. Badoo. Brand new one. Badoo. What do you Badoo? How do how do you Badoo? What do you Badoo and how do you Badoo? Okay. <clears throat> so Derek says Roselia evolve from the Badoo and evolve into Roserade. Okay. Good to know. How do you Badoo? How do I badoo? I do. I do badoo. Hold on. That should be a good one. He's asleep, and I got a back shot, so. Badoo! How do you badoo? What is that? Oh, uh, it's just a piece of wood or something sticking up. I thought it was... I thought it was, like, something important. It's a freaking nothing. It's a piece of the scenery. What we got over here? What is that? Is that a new plant? A caster fern. That's what it looks like. We haven't seen one in a while yet. Caster fern. Oh, there's another Pokemon over there. I think it's new. Oh, yeah, these are new. Oh, it's a Lapras? No. Yes, Lapras? I think we already have these, don't we? I think we caught them over in the other area. I'm pretty sure we did. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I didn't like that. Oh, not Lapras, Paras. It's a Paras, not a Lapras. 
Paras or Lapras? In the ass. <laughs> Hit that Paras in the ass. Oh, the Paras was defeated by the ass. Okay, very nice. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, that was pretty botched. Meh. You can hear a Pokemon. Meh. Who's saying that? Who's going meh? I hear all kinds of roaring over there. There's a... I see a Psyduck. I don't really see much else. Let's go for a walk. Meh. Ansel Kamaru says, Space-time distortions are seriously intense shit. You can find rare items of Pokemon in them, but... Uh, if you're not careful, you'll get your ass beat. It's another fighting to Paras. Oh, they do? Here says they already have a season of Pokemon anime based on this game. They fucking do? That was fast, huh? What do you think about Alfredo pizza? The only pizza I've ever had Alfredo sauce on was, get this, the Domino's Philly cheesesteak pizza has a white cheese sauce that's actually supposed to be like Alfredo sauce on it, along with a lot of cheese and steak and some uh, onions, I believe, they put on it too. Um, I've never actually had, like, a white pie with Alfredo sauce, so I couldn't really comment on it without having, you know, eaten it. So, personally, I, I think red sauce goes on pizza, and that's, like, the staple thing you should put on it, but some people like variety, right? There's some pizzas, they don't even put sauce on they put barbecue sauce on it, because, like, barbecue cheddar and bacon pizza, or, uh, with, with chicken and stuff on it. It's very odd, the stuff I've seen. Derek says Brock returns, too, in the anime. I didn't even know Brock ever left, so... <laughs> All right, let's fight him. I could have caught him, but I'll fight him. Aerial Ace, come on, Cider. Insta-kill all these paras. Jim Trollin says, that's when Domino's was best. I missed that, Philly. Do they not have it anymore? I mean, that was a long time ago. That was the mid-2000s when I used to get that. I've told you guys this story before. Back when I was very, very poor... I worked at Best Buy, and I had, like, no money ever. I was always broke, because I could barely afford to have my apartment that I, I, I uh, split with two other roommates. It was pretty expensive where I lived, so all I had uh, money for was, like, rent and basics. So what I would do is I would order the 555 deal that they had at Domino's back in the day. If you don't know what that was, it was three medium pizzas of any kind. For five dollars each, including the deluxe specialty pizzas. So I would do the Philly cheesesteak pizza, the ultimate meats pizza, and something else too. Like I would just get a ton of pizza. And it would be 15 bucks for all of that pizza. And now nah, by the way, it was three mediums. The mediums essentially at Domino's are like a small anywhere else. They're very small pizzas. But you could still eat like a meal would be like three to four small pieces of the pizza. And you could stretch it out for two, three days. You could just eat Domino's. And I did that. But I was at my my unhealthiest and fattest and poorest. I essentially would do this. And then I would eat Domino's for three days straight. That's all I would eat. <laughs> Breakfast would be the ultimate meats. And then dinner would be some of the leftover Philly cheesesteak. Wow, what a great lifestyle, huh? <laughs> so I'm being told... They do still have the Philly pizza, but it's it's not as nearly as good today as it used to be. I thought it was good. The meat was actually good quality, and it was a creamy cheese sauce on it and with, with onions and stuff, red onion. It was actually quite tasty. I liked it. There's a swimming... Look, a swimming uh, side up. <laughs> so they want me to go this way. I guess I will go this way. And I see a new Pokemon right there. It looks like a Venus flytrap Pokemon. Look at that thing. Okay, get into the tall grass. Let's see if I can catch this thing. I guess we'll use a great ball because I don't know what it is. I'm going to turn around. Whoa, he like glitched and bounced backwards. Did you see that? Huh. Well, I didn't get it from behind. I thought I'm catching it this way either. Oh, never mind. 
It's called Car Carnivine. I don't know if I've ever seen a Carnivine before. It's probably from a gen of Pokemon that I didn't play. Carnivine. Another Psyduck. Psy -i -i -i. And there's another Carnivine. I should try to catch... Oh, there's a bunch of Carnivine. Let me see if I can catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Carnivine. Ooh. Ooh, kind of that one does not want to be caught, but I caught it anyway. Level up for Raz. Oh, shit. I guess Raz has to fight. Or Scyther. Now let's have Raz fight because he has fire type. Yeah, let's have Raz fight. Raz should probably just burn it right up. Yep, super effective. That's a nice insta knockout right there. Easy peasy. Derek says James from Team Rock has a carnivine, and every time it comes out to battle, it loves to chew on James's head. It's quite unfortunate. Earlier today, Jasper was chewing on my beard. He loves to do that. He loves to. He comes up to my face. And he starts licking my beard. I'm like Jasper. That's not. That's not animal hair. You're like you know, licking. That's my actual facial hair. It's different. Oh look at this. Once I get a Pokemon that can break stuff, I can break through this uh, rock. It looks like. Can't do it now though. This is funny. I just caught them. Two more respawned immediately. This guy's asleep. How do I switch? There's a button for this, right? A? There we go. Thank That's right. Last time you guys told me about A to switch between targets. Thank you for that. That's an easy catch. Three of three. Level up for my, uh... What do you call them? Munchlax. He got a new move. Nice. Oh, I can break the rock now? Any Pokemon can break boulders? What? How? Uh, what? How? Uh, no. No, I can't break this. It's called Rock Smash. Throw any Pokemon that knows Rock Smash at it. Why didn't they tell you that? Thank you guys for telling me. I wouldn't have known that. I would have thought that it's, it's a part of the game I can't do yet. Why don't they, why didn't they say that? That was really stupid. Just tell me. Tell me I can do that. I see an Onyx down there, by the way. Why are they keeping secrets? Why are they keeping secrets from me? Why are they doing this? I'm going to catch these Pokemon down there. These are new Pokemon. Oh, hold on a second. <clears throat> Save. Okay. I got it. What is it? It is Stunky. A stinky skunk named Stunky. <laughs> I want that Onyx. That Onyx is like... There's no way you can get it from behind. It's constantly moving. Oh, crap! There was a ghost Pokemon hidden there. Whoa. There it is. Oh, no! I don't think I have anything good against ghost Pokemon. Do I? Do you need Psychic-type? 
Leany Psychic type. Crap, where'd it go? Let's fight him. Ghastly. Oh, ghastly. Not very effective. I was completely wrong. I thought that Psychic, uh, psychic type was good against Ghost. I'm wrong. Shit. Okay, I have to change Pokemon. No, I... I wanted to change Pokemon! I wanted to do a physical attack! That's the dumbest thing you could do! At least that had no effect. Okay, Pokemon. So, uh, Okay, for some odd reason, Bulldoze Ground is good against a ghost? Why is Ground good against a ghost? I have no idea, but let's get him in. Oh, I was looking at fairy moves, not psychic moves. Oh, I got him confused. That's my problem. All right, Munchlax. Bulldoze. Oh, yeah! That's... Oh, shit. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. I didn't intend on killing him, but I guess it is what it is. <laughs> right? I guess. Oh, well. Oh, because I'm being told because Ghastly is also considered poison type. It's not just ghost. And so... Because of that, he's weak to ground. That's odd. I don't know. That sounds weird to me. I want this Onyx, but he's dancing and won't stop dancing. Look. He's moving around and he dances. Dances with Onyx. Oh, shit. You think I can catch it? Stunky's gonna attack me. I got the Onyx. I caught the Onyx, but now Stunky's coming after me. Alright, we gotta fight the Stunky. The stinky stunk. Stinky stunky stunk. Take this. Get him, Munchie. Get him, Munchie. Munchie the Munchlax. You made it raining, but I avoided it. No, he tried an attack and I avoided it. But I'm gonna bulldoze him. Bulldoze that stunky. Oh, yeah! Now we can catch it. Venom shot. No, not fight. Here we go. Catch it. Pokeball in the rain. The rain started here. The rain's in the, uh... The rain's down in the plains. I like the rain. Very good. I want a Ghastly while I'm out here. Another Onyx just fucking spawned. Dude, that's the fastest respawn rate ever. It's not even like two minutes. It's already back. What is up with that? I think that respawn rate's actually a little too fast. Doesn't really give you enough time to recover. Do 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 do. The rains down in the plains. I love the rains. Oh, Lipsy, <laughs> Lipsy says, "What do you think of using the upcoming Game Pass marathon to finish up the Forgotten City?" We could, we could, we could have a segment of it to be. Let's just do the final ending of the Forgotten City. We could definitely do that. What is that? A so 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 foot root? A so foot? Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, this is not good. We gotta fight a lot of guys. We're gonna fight a Ghastly and an Onyx at once. I don't like this. I don't like my chances. Don't use Rock Slide. Oh, no! Oh! Oh. At least take out the Ghastly. Yes! But now he's gonna die. Onyx is gonna kill him. He bulldozed me! Oh. He bulldozed me. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Not very effective. Not very effective. Not very effective. Aha! Super duper effective! Okay. Chris B says, Tom Holland's three Desert Island games are Spidey on PS4, Skyrim, and Hogwarts Legacy. Do you agree? Well, Skyrim, I agree. Spidey PS4, Nat's good, but I wouldn't want to play that endlessly on a desert island. As for Hogwarts Legacy, it's not out yet. So. <laughs> Alright, we're going to smash this. Oh, I'm going to bullet punch. <laughs> Super effective, but it didn't do a lot of damage. Oh! Rock smash. 
Oh, and you're made of rock, so insta kill. Insta, excuse me, insta knockout. My bad. Nice knockout. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Come on! That was cheap as hell. A freaking stunky came out and poisoned my butt. You disgusting, dispelly stunky. Oh, you freak. Hit it with rock smash. Oh! Damn, I did like nothing. Defense lowered. Not poison gas. I hate poison gas. I've been poisoned. Rock smash again. Stack that lowering defense. Oh, yes. Now I'm hurt by poison. That's terrible. Don't use tackle. That hurts. Ow. All right, finish him with rock smash. But I'm probably going to die from poison now. And I'm going to have to go kill my Pokemon. Right? All right. We survived. But, man, my Pokemon are getting beat up badly. We still have a few more I can use. Whew. We caught some new ones, though. I see a lot of Stunky out here. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else out here I didn't catch yet. I just see a ton of Stunky out here. And a Ghastly. I didn't catch a Ghastly. I killed one, though. Alright, we let's uh, let's take a little detour back from where we were going here. I'm going to get too off the beaten path. Maybe I'll get some berries. Any new berries? Nah, just regular Apricorns. Okay. Do 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 nice relaxing music. Do 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 wow 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 Okay I'm getting carried away here Ring the bells you hear the ringing bells Bonk right in the back come on give me a hit Catch that sucker Yeah we need one more, and we get the next level of research. Pikachu just leveled up, which is good. Very nice. I really like the, the music. I think the music is outstanding in this game. Oh, cool! Mega Man NTs is one of the, my favorite additions to the game. You can now evolve Pokemon that used to be hard to, to, to evolve because they used to be trade only. You don't need to trade them anymore. They, ch they took it out. That's good. I, I like that, too. All right, we got all six. It's another research level for that guy. Cool. Meow. That Pikachu sound effect is weird, but that's the sound effect you used to make on the Game Boy. If you guys aren't aware, that's definitely the original Game Boy sound effect. I recognize it. Who's this asshole? Dodging is everything. When a wild Pokemon is lashing out at you with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, their moves whiz by you and not will not hit you. Wow. So if you dodge, you can avoid attacks? What a novel concept. I never would have figured that one out for myself. All right, let's save up. <laughs> All right. 